Hey YouTube, what's going on? Limitless here with another Final Fantasy 15 gameplay. And today I'm going to show you guys an easy way to get through the no item dungeon, which is a level 99 dungeon, the last one that you guys should be doing. Um, I found a very nice dish called the Lasagna, Lasagna del Forno um, that allows you to resist all fire, ice, and lightning elements, as well as boost your HP by 4,000. Um, it also gives you a 100% experience boost, which you don't really need, um, but the resistance alone from this and the HP will help carry you through this dungeon like crazy. Um, the first part of this video, I showed you guys the ingredients. Um, you can actually buy all three of the ingredients to uh, use, um, and you guys should have the recipe by now. Um, as far as the items go, the sirloin piece that you guys need, you guys can buy from the Hunter HQ area. Um, the dark shell item, you guys can buy from Alticia. And then the wheat portion, you guys can buy from Lestalium in the market. Um, and now this part, I'm just showing you guys the, the gear that I'm using. I'm mainly focusing on um, using one weapon for that floor. And then the other three slots, I have my royal arms just so I can get that stat boost from them. And then uh, as far as the accessories go, I have triple accessories. Most of them focusing on... Um, vitality and then boosting strength or something like that and then a ribbon on gladio and myself now you guys shouldn't have to worry about hp accessories because the the dish itself gives you 4000 hp which is um, a huge increase that should bring you up to over 9000 on every character um and you guys want to use the dish on every floor because the the only really hard thing about this dungeon is the elemental damage uh now i'm showing you guys three of the harder battles in this dungeon the first one being the four iron giants which is around floor 35 um something like that um this battle it, it's just a pain in the ass just because they use that attack that sucks in your entire team and then all they do is consistently swing their sword at you um, and now this is a good part where you guys want to start using your heavier magic um, the the best one I found is to use the freeze and if you guys need a tutorial on that you guys can go look at YouTube on how to craft that um, but basically when you guys craft a spell um, there are certain items that allow you to craft um, not Blizzara but freeze which is the limit break spell and you guys can craft it a certain amount of times and this is the the highest hitting uh, freeze spell in the game uh, now you guys shouldn't have to farm for any of these materials um, if you guys are running low then maybe go for a couple uh, but by the time I had this dungeon I haven't had to use any of my high spells until this dungeon just because everything else is just the when you guys use a Quintas Blizzard or something like that that's more than strong enough to take down most enemies um, so for this battle I just focus on using freeze and then I would dance around and use warp to get out of their you know area of effect so they wouldn't hit me and I would just have to cast it over and over and over uh, unfortunately the AI that you have for your teammates isn't that great so more than likely they're gonna die on this battle as well as a couple of the others but if you guys have the hard-hitting spells and the right accessories um, you guys should be able to deal with this dungeon with with pretty you know pretty good uh, ease um, this battle I did this on my first try uh, I did I did come to this dungeon two times uh, first time I died to the two cougars and I just couldn't get past them and that's when I decided to find that dish that gave me the elemental resistance and then when it came back down here I was able to beat these guys so the free spell works really he well here um, if you guys have a lecton which is the high hardest hitting um, lightning spell in the game you guys could try that I just found the freeze to be a little more efficient now once you guys get past this battle you guys will have a couple of other smaller battles that aren't too hard um once you get down to the um level i think this is either level 30 or 40 and then the giants is either level 20 or 30 somewhere in between those floors um hard to keep track because they don't give you an exact number of them but you'll come into a battle where you have to face two cougars and because you guys are using the dish you guys don't have to worry about their lightning attacks because you're invulnerable to them but at the same time they could still do a pretty much a one hit physical attack that'll completely wipe your teammates so i had ignis and prompto die almost right off the bat and i couldn't rest them because i can't use items and then i had me and gladio just pretty much take out the other one that was left standing um now for this battle you guys gotta be careful because i did get one of the cougars down um pretty low and then i didn't realize when they sit in the corner and they kind of just posture up they actually heal themselves um, so if you see that one doing that, and if you're targeting that one, trying to get to him down first, um, make sure you go focus him and just kind of ignore the other one. And then use everything you got for the the last one. Um, as far as techniques go, I use Piercer on Prompto just because you guys get that at one tech bar and it hits really hard. 
I also had the limit break on that um, Prompto's techniques. So anytime that it could hit for over the limit, it would. Um, so there was a couple of enemies where I would hit for, you know, 16,000, 20,000. Uh, not every enemy, because some enemies have, uh, you know, a higher defense than others, but it definitely helped out. As far as Ignis, um, I used this regroup spell because it helped you heal the lost health that you had. Um, so it wouldn't heal you completely, but any health that was recuperating, if you can see on the bottom right of my bar, my health bar, the regroup would instantly re-raise that health amount that you were losing. And then it would also put all your teammates in one little area, so you can kind of regroup as the technique states. Um, as far as Gladio goes, I kind of tinkered around with his techniques. I used Royal Guard in some battles, and then others like this one where we were down, you know, 2v1. I was just trying to take down this cougar as soon as possible. I would use the down hammer technique um, just to dish out as much damage as possible. Um, now, after this battle, the rest of the battle should be easy. You guys will get another um, bonfire. Um, you have a couple of enemies in here, the Malboros, which are easily taken down with the flare attack. Um, it does about 30 to 40,000 damage, um, and it Usually you guys can cast it once and then just go in there and finish them off with your weapons. And then the one with two Malboros, you guys can pretty much do the same thing. Just focus one down and then use your flare spell as much as you can. If you need to stay away until you're, you're, you get the chance to use your magic again, go ahead and do that just to play it safe. Because you can't use items. So if you die and your other teammates are dead, you can't raise yourself up. And then waiting for a teammate to you know rescue you is kind of a pain in the ass because they're not the smartest. Now, as far as the last boss goes, um, his hard-hitting attacks are elemental damage, his fire attacks. Um, so, thankfully, with this dish, you won't have to worry about it because you're invulnerable to half the attacks he does. Um, he just has a lot of HP, um, which isn't too bad. Um, for this battle, your four characters should um, stay alive for most of this battle. I didn't have an issue there. Um, so, just focus on dealing out as much damage as you can, using piercer as much as you can. Um, and then when you can use in your your royal arms, you know combination attack on him Now as far as magic damage, he's immune to f um, fire so because he uses fire text so You can't use that uh, But you guys can use elect on or any type of free spell and they'll do damage just not that much um, But when you get the chance since this is the last boss go ahead and just go all out and use everything you can um, I believe he is weak to twin blades and um any hard hitting attack, um, your two handed swords would do do okay here, um, but I didn't like to use it because you want again you want to deal out as much damage as possible and those those weapons swing a little too slow for me. So this is it for this dungeon. Again, there's only a couple of battles in this dungeon that are really hard, and if you guys play it safe and you guys don't take any unnecessary risk, you guys don't have to worry about the use of items. You guys get a campfire every ten levels, so you guys can you know go ahead and. You know, heal the group up and then eat the dish again to make sure you guys get that 4,000 HP boost and then as well as the resistance to all elements. Um, again, if you guys don't have this recipe, I highly recommend finding it. If you guys have something similar to it or a mighty guard that, you know, um, hires your resistance to certain elements, go ahead and use that as well. But I'd rather just have the immunity to the resistance or to the elements because they, they'll still do damage to you even if you have a mighty guard on. Um, so that's it for this video. Hope this guy this guide helps you out a little bit if you guys are struggling down here um, It's not too bad once you guys, you know get your shit together and just kind of you know play it out smart um, Not that hard of a dungeon. I was actually a little disappointed in this one um, Once I used this dish and figured out how to you know bypass the the harder hitting attacks in this um, So again, if you guys like the video, please like and subscribe comment down if you guys have any issues or something you guys need help with as far as finding the ingredients I can help out um, but hopefully you guys won't have any issues and this will get you guys right through it um, so that's it this for this video thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one thanks